I have been waiting for this movie for over two years. You have no idea. I have wanted to watch this movie since I heard about it in Black Panther. Or, you know, the trailers to Black Panther when that movie came out in February of 2018. So I actually have a number of friends who personally were not that interested in seeing this movie. I know when I initially heard about it, I was not either, but my interest grew. I've read a couple of the New Mutants comics. I think there are comics based on New Mutants. Not 100% positive, but basically as time went on, I got more and more intrigued by the idea of a horror film with the X-Men characters or with, you know, mutants. And I've been excited for this for a while. Did not totally live up to those expectations, not gonna lie. So let's get this out of the way. New Mutants is not a part of the MCU. I thought it was, and I was really excited to see that this is the way mutants were gonna get introduced. Problem. It directly references both series of X-Men films and even more directly references the movie Logan, with it using footage straight from that movie. So it's not canon to the MCU. I personally wanted it to be, but it's not. And I can kind of understand why it's not the best movie out there. Let me clarify. As a horror film, I think it is really good. The suspense that it builds up is very interesting, with you not 100% what's going on throughout it, unless you're me and can guess things really well and very accurate to movies. It's kind of creepy. But the suspense that it builds up is really, really good, with you not knowing 100% what is going on the entire time. And once the horror elements get revealed, I actually thought they were pretty interesting, and I thought they did a good job. The problem comes from the fact that it's tied directly to X-Men. And what I mean when I say that's a problem, this movie is so beholden to the X-Men movies that existed prior to this, that it pigeonholed itself without pretty much completely reshooting the entire movie to fit within the bounds of the MCU, this literally can't, in its current state, exist as an MCU film. And I personally think that's a travesty. I would have loved for it to exist within the bounds of the MCU. I really want mutants to exist as a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because I like the X-Men. I love them as characters. So I, I, I was bummed when I figured out that this movie is not part of the MCU, but at the same time, I understand why it's not. It's not the best movie out there. It very much feels like a Fox X-Men film, which have a very, very hit and miss track record. It's not bad as Dark Phoenix, though. I at least enjoyed this movie. D Dark Phoenix, no. But the story I actually thought was one of the elements the movie got right. The horror elements, again, I have to reiterate, are actually fairly good. It's just very awkward because we have to get a standard superhero type ending. And I am personally very sad that we are probably not going to get sequels to this film. Again, because MCU, but I would have actually liked to see where this went. Not just because I am a massive fan of five-man bands in stories and this movie has one. Personally, I would have loved to see a trilogy of more horror-based superhero films. I think that would have been cool, but we're probably not going to be getting that again because MCU. But one thing that I think this movie does right is I think everyone is very well cast in the roles that they are given, and I thought they all did a fairly good job of portraying what kids who basically lost control and killed people with their abilities would be going through if they were just put into this random facility in the middle of nowhere. And one other thing that I think it did right was LGBT inclusion because it does that perfectly. Because it does not draw attention to it. This movie, before it came out, did not make a big deal that it had LGBT inclusion. It's just a part of the film like it's a normal thing, which it is, and I personally liked that a lot. Now, some things this movie does wrong. Accents? <laughs> no hate to the um, Blastoff mutant actor. I cannot, I cannot remember that actor's name. It's the guy who played um, Will's older brother in Stranger Things, that guy. I thought he did a good job with his character, but he is very much affecting what a Kentucky accent is supposed to sound like, and is very obvious, and not the best. And I say that as someone who is not very good at the southern accent, which is odd because I grew up in Mississippi, and I have family down there that I visit on a 
semi-regular basis. Or at least did. I'm getting off topic. But his accent sounded very, very fake to me. There's a character who I believe is supposed to be Russian, mostly because of the name Rasputin, and she did a fairly decent job with a much more subtle accent, but it definitely, definitely sounds like she is an American who grew up with Russian parents, if that makes sense. Her, her accent is extremely subtle, and I, like, I legit just didn't hear it initially. It, it took me a while before I heard it. That, and then the ending, I also think it did wrong. Mostly because it feels rushed. The ending feels like they just needed a conclusion and didn't know how to do it, so they just went, you know what? Showcase all the powers! <laughs> and so... I personally was not a huge fan of the way that it ended because it felt rushed and it just, the, the ending became this massive action scene where the rest of it was a suspense thriller type film. It just, the two did not gel and the ending just did not work for me personally. But overall, I did enjoy the film, the majority of this movie. I thought the suspense elements were fantastic and it was actually a lot of fun for me to watch personally. Now here's the tricky part. Would I recommend the movie? If you're a fan of Fox's X-Men series, then I would say yes. I would recommend the film. I would say watch it if you are a fan of that. This is basically the last Fox X-Men movie that we are ever going to get because, you know, the existence of everything. With Fox being bought out by Disney and this not being in the MCU, this is going to be the last X-Men film we get from the Fox franchise, which I personally find a little sad. However, if you want an MCU movie, you're not gonna get that here. This isn't an MCU film. This is 100% a Fox X-Men movie. And also, it depends on what you're going for. If you're going to a superhero film for action, you are not going to really be getting that here. It is very much a suspense and thriller type film up until the very end, where it just becomes a generic action thing. But majority of it is not action, so you are not getting that if you go to this film. And if you're not a fan of horror, you're not gonna enjoy this movie. And with that, I would say, for me, this movie rolls a 12. I personally enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a fun thriller film, and I will potentially be watching it again, just because why not? And I actually enjoyed the, I actually enjoyed the story, so I'll probably watch it again, more as a B movie rather than anything else. But it is nothing phenomenal, and I wouldn't, and if you want an MCU film or you want a more traditional superhero film, I would not say go see this. Save your money and wait until Black Widow or Wonder Woman comes out, because I cannot remember which of those is coming out first. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I have been waiting for this movie for so long, and I'm actually personally very excited that it has come out. But that is all that I have for now, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you'd like to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below, as always. And subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more just nerdy goodness. That's all I have for now, guys, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day, and as always, peace out.